Hello, this is a short video explaining how our organic self-assessment exercises work. Uh, my name is David Reed. I've been doing this work at the University of Southampton with my MPhil student, Steve Barnes. So the rationale for this um, sort of improvement of organic chemistry skills is based on the fact that we sometimes see students arriving at university don't have a thorough understanding of the different elements of mechanistic drawings. And we think this lack of understanding may stem from the way that mechanisms are assessed at A level, the very uh, precise and defined way that you have to draw them. Students get, may get hung up on that and feel they have to rote learn a mechanism and how to draw the diagram rather than thinking about the underlying principles and applying them. So we're trying to do both things here. We're trying to help students to answer exam style questions more effectively, but to do that by applying their knowledge of the underlying principles. So we've developed what we call talking mark schemes. These are videos uh, which outline the thought process behind an answer, as well as explaining what you need to do to get the marks. And we believe this is a good way of developing that underlying understanding. And we have evidence from last year that it's very successful. Presumably, the fact that you're watching this means you've read some of the stuff we've sent out about that. So I won't spend too much time talking about the positives uh, from last year. The principle is that you will give the students problem sets to complete, either in class or for homework, that you will then check that they've done the work and then return it to them so they can mark it. And that marking is done by them clicking on a survey, a link to a survey, which we will give you. And in the survey, there are links to the video mark schemes that they watch, and then they enter their marks into the survey and answer some evaluative questions which contribute to our research. I'll explain this process as we go through the rest of the video. The exercises themselves are derived from A-level exam questions from various different uh, sources over the last few years, uh, and we've adapted these um, so that, that they are acceptable for use with all different exam boards. It should be noted that there will be some um, questions which may have elements which are not covered in a particular specification because there are slight differences between the different exam boards, but we don't think this is a problem because students should be able to apply that, that basic understanding to any of the problems that are in these worksheets. And if they can't, of course, the talking mark schemes will explain and take them through this. And the evidence from last year was that, that students were quite happy to do stuff which wasn't on their specification because quite often they were able to do it by applying those principles and where they couldn't they were able to learn uh, from the talking mark scheme. Once they're self-assessing their work, they use these talking mark schemes, which uh, here's an example of one here, uh, which is illustrating nucleophilic addition. Um, these are created on a tablet PC and with a webcam. You can see Steve there. He's, he's the project student working on this. Uh, Steve's a very good organic chemist, if he doesn't mind me saying that. Uh, and he's done a good job of explaining these mechanisms. And where appropriate, as you can see on the screen there, he's using a molly mod to explain uh, and illustrate how the reaction proceeds. And I think this is another benefit of this approach. So there's a different video for each question, and they aren't too long. I think the total video time is a lot shorter than last year, with somewhere around 35, 40 minutes for marking all of the questions and the survey may take sort of 10, 15 additional minutes. It's probably about an hour's worth of work altogether um, to mark the exercise, but as I say, last year the response was very positive, so I think that there's value in this and students see value in it. As I mentioned, as the students are going along, they're completing a survey, so you can see here an example uh, from last year. Uh, the students click on the link to the talking mark scheme, you can see that's here. They'll enter their mark, and as they go through, there are some other questions they have to answer. We've changed these a little bit this year, uh, but they're you know, essentially very similar to what we did last year. So just a few points from last year, just to encourage you to do this. You can see here about uh, some comments we got from students. You can see the top one there was about confidence and seeing that mechanisms work using the same rules. And actually, they're quite easy if you know what you're doing. Um, in the middle there, you can see someone saying they're more confident because they understand what curling arrows are. Uh, I like the one at the bottom there, someone saying that if these come up in the exam, they might even enjoy answering them. And that's a positive outcome. Um, in terms of the actual self-assessment process, you can see students valued this, that, that evaluating their own answers and helping them to understand their mistakes is much better. And uh, well, you can read those there for yourself. I'm not going to go through them all individually. I guess the outcome uh, there is that students clearly seem to value the self-assessment process and the talking mark scheme to help to fill any gaps they've got. Finally, just uh, you can see here, this is a quote from a teacher last year. Uh, you can see that they were pleased with it and that they wanted to know if there were more, and a very positive comment from a student there at the end. So 
We'll leave it there. If you have any other questions, you have our email addresses. Please don't hesitate to get in touch, and we'll look forward to working with you.